Hey everyone, welcome back to your uh, Python tutorial series. And I just wanted to mention something real super quick before we get started. I keep having this stupid box come up, which is like super annoying. Which I just want to let you guys know because it showed up in the last video. I'm not counterfeiting. I'm not. I'm not using counterfeit software. I'm just way too lazy to put in the product key. I know that's like horrible, but literally this thing has been bugging me for like months now. And same with those stupid Java updates. Come on. They bug me like every single five minutes. I don't want to update it. Gosh. All right. Well, anyways, this video will be talking about strings. So I can't type, but that's okay. Strings. What is a string? Well, basically a string is kind of what it sounds like, a string. It's a string of characters. So, what's a character? A character is any letter on our keyboard. Whoopsies, don't want to do that. So these are all examples of characters. A string is just a list, uh, a literally a string of those within quotes. So, hey yo yo yo, my mom's name is Joe. That is an example of a string. So when we do that, it doesn't really do much. So what's the purpose? Well, these are usually assigned to variables or printed back to the screen. So we could say, uh, we could say mom, we can make that a variable and we could assign it. Hey, yo, 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 my mom's name is Joe. And then we could go to the next line. Oh yeah, I forgot to kind of mention this. This uh, parentheses, it's it's re it's uh, required in programs. Although with with this idle, you sometimes don't need it. Like if I'm just executing one line, I don't really need it. So sometimes I'll use it. Sometimes I don't. Don't. Uh, I just recommend you use it all the time. But if you don't need it, you don't have to. So yeah. Then we can print that out. So to print it, we just print mom, and it comes back out. Now. What are the features of strings? Well, the very first thing are obviously the quotes. We open it with a quote, and then we end it with a quote. We can use either double or single quotes. The only thing is we can't mix and match. We can't be like, like that, because we have a double and then a single. It doesn't work. We also can't have a single and then a double. It doesn't work. The other thing is we can't just open it and then leave it non-close. So yeah, those are examples. You have to have both. You can use either one. We could say hey, or we could say hey. It doesn't matter as long as you match them on both ends. All right, so what else? We have the syntax error. What is a syntax error? Well, syntax, that's the way we structure our sentences. And when we're talking about computer programming, it's how we program. So Python expects us to close a parentheses, I mean a uh, quotation mark. One, did I say parentheses earlier? I don't know. I meant quotation marks. But it expects us to open and then it expects us to close a quotation mark. So when we open one, it's looking for the closing one. So if it doesn't get that, we get an error. So that means, okay, you didn't do it right. And then it says EOL, which means end of line which means it went all the way to the end of the line and we ran out of code and we still did not find the ending quote. So yeah, that's basically what that's saying. It says you didn't close your string. Now when we do something like this, although we tried to close our, our string with a single quote, it did not work that way because Python saw that we opened it with a double quote. Therefore, it looks for a double quote to double quote to close it. And because it doesn't find one, it expects that you did not close your string. So yeah, that's the basics of strings within Python. And in the next video, we'll be talking about some more things we can do with them and more features in depth. So yeah, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.